Hello everyone and welcome to version 12.8 of The Edge. Today's video will be covering just a few of the new features within this release. As always, a complete listing of the changes can be found within the release notes on the administration portal when you're downloading the newest installer. Alright, let's get started. One of the first changes that we have incorporated into version 12.8 are some new tools that are now available when importing images into a bid. Once you have imported images into the bid, you will be seeing the image page summary screen as we see here. You will now have the ability to modify properties of multiple images at the same time. For example, if I wanted to adjust the image quality for all of the images that are listed here, I can simply click on the Select All button, then click on the Manage Selected Images button, which will show my available options. To adjust image quality for all selected images, I can click on the Adjust Color or DPI box, and then simply select the appropriate radio button for the quality that I want to select. For this example, I'll go ahead and select color, which is the highest quality for these images to be set to. Once I've selected color, I simply click the save button, and now all images are being updated. Another option that I have at the page summary screen is to use the manage selected images button to create pages within my bid and set scales for all of my drawings. In this case, I would like to just use the two top images to create pages. So I'll go ahead and select them. And once again, hit the Manage Selected Images button. At the very top, I have a drop-down option that allows me to either create a page, create a common condition page that we'll be getting into later, or create both a page and common condition page. In this case, I'm gonna go ahead and just create a page and I do happen to know that the scale for both of these drawings is an eighth inch. So I now have the opportunity to go ahead and set that scale from here as well. So I hit save. On the right hand side, I now see the two pages that I have created for this particular bid. Next, I would like to take several of these images that are showing enlarged floor plans of a particular type of room within a hotel and create common condition pages for them. Common conditions is a new feature that we've added to 12.8, and its intent is to speed up the entire takeoff process, giving the ability to capture common or repeated parts of a takeoff. We'll get into some more detail about what that means later on. For now, I'd like to go ahead and just create pages that I'll be using for those common condition pages. Simply selecting the pages that I would like to assign as common condition pages, then again hitting my Manage Selected Images button, I can hit my drop down and indicate that I would like these three to be common condition pages. So I'm simply going to click the Save button, and I have now created three common condition pages. The last thing I'd like to show from our page summary view is the ability to delete multiple images. First of all, I'm going to deselect those that I already have selected. And as an example, I'm going to select my last three images and simply click Del delete selected images. That's now removed them from my list in previsions of the edge. Only one image could be deleted at a given time. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click my continue button in the lower right hand corner to go ahead and proceed into the bid. I'm initially brought into my sections for the bid. I'm gonna go ahead and move forward to pages and we're gonna talk a little bit more about common conditions. As you can see toward the top of the screen, we, we have some new icons. I'm currently highlighted on what's called pages. This is our standard page view, just like we've had in the past. We now have a new view called Common Condition Pages. If I click on that icon, I'm actually going to switch to my Common Conditions Pages as I created them from the Image Manager. 
As I mentioned earlier, common conditions is a method to speed up takeoff. Estimators have the ability now to define a portion of a takeoff on a page and then save that area to reuse on other pages. It's important to note that takeoff from multiple conditions may be used and included as part of the common conditions. We do have a couple of different methods that can be used to create these common conditions. The first method I'll show today is here from the common conditions grid. This first page, type K01, is a particular type of hotel room within this bid. What I'd like to do now is move forward into the conditions and start building the conditions that are required for this specific room. To do that, I'm going to hit my forward arrow and now click on my Add Condition button to come out to my database and start pulling in the conditions required to build this particular room. All conditions that are required for this room can be pulled in all at the same time. In this case, I'm going to pull in four separate conditions and click Add to Page. Normally, my next step would be to go into Condition Properties, make any adjustments necessary to each one of these conditions, and then proceed to the takeoff. For the sake of time today, I'm going to skip the setup of the conditions and move directly to my takeoff. Once into takeoff, I'll be seeing the background image that I created for this common condition page, in this case specific to room K01. I need to go ahead and set my scale to begin. In this case, I know it's 3 8 of an inch equals one foot. And now that my scale is set, I can begin quantifying the conditions for this particular takeoff. I'm going to keep this example pretty simple today. As we saw earlier, I did bring in four separate conditions. I'm going to go ahead and quantify some lineal footage for my interior partition. and then move on to my next condition, which is my metal furred wall. I have a count condition in here, my two by two column, and an area condition as well for my ceilings. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw that in. And in this case, we'll say, uh, that those are the only four conditions that are required to build that specific room. Uh, so for the takeoff purposes, we are complete. Now one new area to point out is the bid tree on the left-hand side of my screen. Notice that I do now have two separate columns within that bid tree, one for my pages and one for my common conditions. Whichever section is on the far right hand side is going to be the active section. This is where you're actually working in currently. So if I wanted to now go to pages, I can go ahead and click on my pages column. It's going to move that column over to my right hand side. And I now have the two pages listed that I created from the background images in an earlier step. If I zoom in on this particular page, I can see that that K01 is listed several times on this particular floor plan. So rather than bring in all four conditions that we had seen earlier for creating that room, I can go ahead and actually click on my conditions. Then I have add common condition to page as a dropdown, and I have the three common conditions that I created. In this case, K01 is the top common condition. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And as you can see, the shapes that I drew in the earlier example are now all attached to my crosshairs. I can simply click down. I then have the option to make some changes, um, such as rotating or flipping horizontally or vertically to make the orientation correct for placing this common condition. So if I right click, 
I can go ahead and select rotate and orient the shape in the right direction. I can then move that into its location that it needs to be in. And I've now created the entire room, all four of those conditions. And you can now see all four of those conditions are listed on my bid tree underneath that particular page. Once I have rotated and placed the room in the correct area, I can now use other tools to replicate that. So if I click on my replicate tool, I'll have that entire room available to place onto my drawing wherever else it needs to go. And as many times as I need to put it down. Now, a couple of new things to point out over on the bid tree. Again, I'm looking at my pages column and I do see that the conditions that I'm using for this specific common condition do in fact have the CC or common condition icon to the left of them. These are showing that they, they have been added from common conditions. If I click back on the common conditions section in the bid, I can also see the pages that are using this specific common condition. If I go ahead and expand, I'll see the page name that's using that specific common condition. I'm going to go ahead and click back onto my pages and we'll cover some other items that we can do with these common conditions. So even though these four conditions are contained within that common condition for that K01 room, I do have the option of using each individual condition to quantify in other areas that might not be a part of the K01. For instance, if I have that same interior partition occurring here in this electrical room, I do have the ability to go ahead and select that condition and apply quantity anywhere else on that drawing. I'm now applying that quantity just for that condition. It is not adding it to the original common condition that I took off. Now, I also mentioned earlier that there are a couple of different ways that you can create common conditions, and I'd like now to show the second way. So again, I have my four conditions listed here as part of this page. Looking down, I do have room K02. So I can actually go ahead and use those same conditions individually to produce quantity for this room K02. Once I've done that, I'm going to have the ability to actually save this as its own common condition. And again, I'll just complete the takeoff with all four of those same types of conditions, including the ceiling. So now if I click back on my conditions section of this page, the icon here in the lower left-hand corner of my drawing tools is called crop common condition. If I go ahead and click on that, this is going to allow me to crop a specific area and create a new common condition from the shapes that are contained within that specific area. So this I'm just going to call K02 and go ahead and hit save. I've now created a brand new common condition based on the takeoff that I used for K02. So now if I click my drop down for common conditions, I'll see K02 is now listed. If I go ahead and click on that, I can now place K02 wherever I need to put it. As many times as I need to put it, place it as well. So again, that's the, the second option for creating these common conditions is by utilizing the floor plan itself and using the crop common condition tool. Now that we're using two separate common conditions, 
back on the bid tree, we can see that they're identified by a specific color on the common condition icon. So the top four conditions are from my K01. If I go ahead and hover on the second one, I can see that these four conditions are all contained within the K02 common condition. So as you can see, for projects that have repeating rooms throughout the entire project, common conditions can certainly help to speed up the entire takeoff process. Another area where common conditions can help to streamline a bid would be in the modification of the conditions that are contained within that common condition. If I go ahead and close out of the takeoff screen and come back into my pages, I can give an example of this. So once again, I do have the option of clicking directly onto common conditions pages. This is going to show all of the common conditions that I've created for this bid. And if I move forward into the K01, again, I'm going to see the four conditions that are all a part of that common condition. These are the source conditions that are being used to create this common condition as many times as needed throughout the entire project. So what that means is if I needed to make a change to the condition properties, I can simply come back into my source condition open its condition properties. And in this example, I'll say I needed to change to a 25 gauge instead of a 20 gauge stud. So I can go ahead and make that change again in my source condition. And now anywhere that that particular common condition was used within the bid has also been updated to that 25 gauge stud. Again, increasing the overall speed, not only of the takeoff process, but of updating items within those common conditions when required. One of the last items that I wanted to talk about in today's video is the ability to now have multiple instances of the edge open at one given time. This will allow an estimator to have multiple bids open simultaneously for comparing purposes and or to have the ability to copy and paste from one bid into another. Opening an additional instance of the edge is as simple as double clicking on your edge icon again, or in my case, I'm going to right click on the icon in the tray and select edge estimator to open a second instance. I am prompted to go ahead and enter in my username and password to log in one more time into that next instance of the edge. Once I've logged in, I will now see the bid grid and have the opportunity to go ahead and open into a second bid. Moving from one instance of the edge into another is as simple as clicking on my icon in the tray and selecting the new page or new bid that I want to go to. So that completes the video for today. Please be sure to head out to the administration portal to download and install 12.8 of the Edge, as well as to read some additional features and functionalities in our release notes that have been added to version 12.8. Thanks and have a great day.